I met Bruce Lee on his birthday, but we didn't communicate because uh, his family was very um, superstitious. Before Bruce died, his elder brother died as a baby, so they thought the devil was going to take the boy from the family, so they gave Bruce a female name, Little Phoenix, in so Little Dragon. At that time, I was having a lot of trouble with my five years older uh, eldest brother, and he bullied me all the time, half brother, you know, he beat me up all the time, but I never cried because I thought that was weak to cry, but it actually upset him. So I get bigger breath. So Bruce Lee was my hero because I, I saw him on the movie. He always win against the bullies, you know. He was a target for the triads because he's a money earner and he's famous as a movie, child movie star. So the triad want to recruit him so they can attract more other little boys to, to get the little boys to do dirty work for them, right? So uh, I decided to look after Bruce. So I, you know, his, his new school was uh, St. Francis Xavier in Samsoipo. So I, uh, you know, uh, about between three and four, I have nothing to do. So I usually go and pick him up. So at, at his minder, uh, his uh, bodyguard, and uh, so we become very close friends because I was looking after him. But after, in less than a year, that he saw me for the, some adult gangsters. Yeah. And he thought, wow, how can a young, young boy can fight like that against real, you know, grown up? So he wanted to learn. He said, watch this. I say, it's Wing Chun Kung Fu. Oh, Wing Chun, yeah. So he wanted to learn, so he, want, he asked me to, to get him to meet with uh, Sifu Yip Man. And, but Bruce had to get permission from his family. It took him months to get permission. So he started training Wing Chun from then, yeah, in the end of uh, 1953. When Bruce went back to Hong Kong in 1964, there was the time that his father passed away, and he wanted to rekindle, uh, rekindle uh, the Wing Chun with with the Wing Chun uh, people. So he went to went back to pay visit to uh, Sifu Yip Man, and also went to see Wong Sun Le. Uh, and but Bruce already take on to something. Um, sort of a, another level of uh, martial art, speed and power. So he decided uh, to do some chi sa with Wong Sun Leung, you know, and then, and then he, uh, he actually gave Wong Sun Leung a very hard time because um, uh, his speed and power was uh, dominating the whole exercise. You know. uh, most martial artists, uh, they want to learn like in a couple of hours, they want to learn the whole system. And Bruce, no. Bruce would stay on to do one technique. You know, when we first start, we just do basics. And Bruce would never come up and say, show me, show me another move, show me another training uh, drill. No, he would stay on, stay on, stay on. Sometimes I would say, oh, Bruce, I want to show you something new. No, 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 I want to, you know, he said he wanted to master that first. So in fact, he, he influenced me, he inspired me. So we would be doing, you know, when we train, we train something very simple, very basic. So our basic is so good, the foundation is so good. So later on, he can build on and also uh, improve my coordination, reflexes, balance, everything. Even was a reluctant teacher. In fact, uh, probably the, all the old masters are, are not a very uh, willing teachers. And also, uh, Wing Chun was, uh, 
was have a special arrangement. You know, every generation they can only pass on traditional Wing Chun to one person, a selected person. So if men learn from two masters, Chen Huashun and Leung Bik, and the, when he learned with Chen Huashun, he learned the modified version. And so when he was teaching, he was only teaching the modified version. But you know, psychologically, I don't think he's happy of doing that. But he's bounded by his vow that he cannot teach traditional Wing Chun to everybody. So that's why I didn't teach traditional Wing Chun until Yiman passed away.